pitiful display by your usual self hypocrites in boxing. Pitiful, pitiful. I, I see you guys out there, I see you. So what, Tyson, we're, we're all haters now for expecting your boy Billy Joe Saunders to be Spartan-like, right? Right? We're all haters for expecting your boy Billy Joe Saunders to be superhuman, right? We're haters now, right? Listen, your boy quit. He quit, and that's the end of it. There's no twist in it. There's no, you know, there's no getting away from this one. He quit, and, and then you got, you got, you got Dave Allen. Yeah, <laughs> Dave Allen got the nerve to to, to to come to the aid of Billy Joe Swan to say, oh no, nah, no, nah, oh. wait, wait. You know, I'm gonna read all these quotes. I'm gonna read all these quotes. When does a fighter quit, and when has he had enough? What's the difference? After last night's fight and reading up on social media, I think the word quits run around too much. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Huh? Dave Allen, this is the same Dave Allen that said, um, oh yeah, AJ quit against Ruiz, man. AJ quit. AJ should, should go hide away in an island somewhere. And it's the same Dave Allen. <laughs> the same guy. The same guy. Now he's talking about, oh, no, no, we're being too harsh on poor Billy Joe Saunders. Now, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury got the nerve to call us haters and say, oh, you, you man are all haters because, listen, you guys told us you're, you're superhuman. Uh, I picked Billy, man. Billy let me down. I can't believe Billy went out like that. Man, you supposed to go out on your... Billy said he don't care if he got to die. Shit. I don't know what happened. You ain't die. You supposed to die. You said it, now we, we, we ain't say it. You said, um, you, you came draped, Billy came draped in all gypsy flag, gypsy shorts and all of that. You, oh, telling us all these fairy tales about gypsies for the longest. I ain't see it. I ain't see it against Canelo, and I don't believe it either. I believe this though. Here goes Tyson Fury on Billy Joe Saunders. Fury quote, We are cut from the same cloth. We are the same breed of animals. End quote. <laughs> Yeah, I do, I do believe that. I do believe that. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that. This seems a bit on brand. You're going to run your mouth, run your mouth straight into a, an uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds... Yeah, it sounds about right. Sounds about right. You you know, got a lethal uppercut as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know how that goes. Anyways, moving on. Let's talk about something else. Filip Helgovic. He reckons AJ is taking Fury out as well. <laughs> Coincidence, so do I. Anyways, let, let's check out what Hergovich has to say. A lot of people are writing off Joshua and are giving Fury the advantage because of their last performances. They say Joshua has slowed down, but in my opinion, Joshua has more tools to beat him. He's the bigger puncher. He throws more combinations. He's good with the jab and fast with his feet. He's a better inside fighter. Fury has this awkward style, but that's all he has. Joshua is the more complete fighter. I give Joshua a little edge. No, 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 Philip, don't let the cat out the bag. Come on, man. Don't, don't be saying all of this in public. No, 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 Fury's gonna box his head off. And, oh, oh, actually, no, he's gonna knock him out two rounds or uh, whatever. Yeah, Joshua ain't got nothing. No inside fighting, nothing. He ain't got no jab, pitiful. No combinations, nothing. He's got nothing for Fury. Fury's just gonna dance around the ring and, yeah. All of that, whatever, whatever fairy tales. Gypsy, it's gonna do some gypsy stuff. Gypsy don't lose heart, this and that. Fighting man, he's gonna fight him, man. And yeah, all of that. Fury wins. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're on this topic, why the hell is Michael Hunter ducking Philip Hergovich as well? Why well, don't he want nothing to do with this guy? What's that about? This fight was ordered a while ago. There were Dilly and Dally and I don't know what the hell's well I do know what's going on because I watched um, um my boy Kali Salen's interview on IFL and he broke it all down basically IBF ordered purse beers because they couldn't come to an agreement actually first of all the fight was um the IBF ordered the fight and they couldn't come to an agreement so IBF ordered purse bids and then they decided oh no they were going to come to an agreement between themselves so they called off the purse bids and then after that hunter's team they were dilly and dallying again so they had to go back to another purse bids which um matchroom won there were no um opposition no other party came forward to you to bid for the fight it was just a single bid from matchroom so the fight was on <laughs> as, as far as we all knew this was a couple of weeks ago i've been meaning to make videos about this fight something just told me just just chill i just wasn't you know I just wanted it to be fully, fully announced because it would just 
going back and forth, back and forth for a long time. This fight's been probably in talks for about, say, four months now. About four months now, they've been talking about this fight um, being booked. It just was not, you know, coming to fruition. So I was just, you know, holding out for an official announcement. And here we are. Um, Michael Hunt has officially pulled out from the running for the IBF final eliminator fight. Madness. There's a whole lot of, you know, question marks, no pun intended, surrounding your boy, um, Michael at the moment with the whole there's uh, some whispers going on out there about well not really whispers he apparently missed a a drugs test so there was yeah there's that and yeah he's been recently seen running around with one of the pools what is it is it Logan he's running around with that's oh that's not related to the missed test I'm not saying that's related to that. that's just, I'm just throwing that random Michael Hunter facts man and um, what else yeah, yeah, just pulling out of this fight is just ridiculous. Apparently, there's been whispers about him joining the PBC. You already know how they move, so that might have something to do with why he's pulled out. You know, they 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 love pulling out guys from from multi million. Well, this wasn't a multi million dollar fight, but if he if he beat Hergovic, he was basically owed a shot at the IBF title, which AJ holds. If he gets a shot at AJ, you already know that's. At least, um, what, what did Andy get? What, four mil? Five, six, four mil? Yeah, so you're going to get at least, what, seven? Seven mil or whatever? So pulling out is just crazy. It makes absolutely no sense. He's scared of the Hergovic smoke. Is that what that's about? Or is this kind of a fraud? What, what, what's going on? If you ask me, out of every, every possibility out there, I reckon Hunter's already signed up with the PBC. This got PBC written all over it. This is the handwork right here. Pulling out guys out, big opportunities, that's definitely on brand. Um, Luis Ortiz, who else? Uh, Charlo, let's go down the divisions. Um, who else? Um, De Tank Davis with the Tevin Farmer fight, who else? Um, Demetrius Andre with the Charlo situation. Who, who, who else? They pull out guy. Um, Caleb Plant more recently. What, um, who else? Just all this stuff they do all over the gaff, man. So yeah, this got PBC written all over it. So don't be surprised if uh, Michael Hunter pops up on a random PBC card moving forward. How the? F how can I forget? Wow, that they pulled out wild out of the AJ fight how many times? So yeah, you already know how PBC do. Oh, Andrew Ruiz, Andrew Ruiz, Doctor. Um, well, that might be Andrew Ruiz's own um, volition. <laughs> I don't think Andrew Ruiz was uh, motivated to fight Dylan White after getting punched up by AJ in um, Saudi Arabia. Remember, um, what's his name? White offered Andy to fight um, for. I think they, they offered Andy four million to fight. And he said, said nah. And then he went around and put up a post on social media saying Dylan don't want to smoke some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, some strange stuff. How can you um, turn down the contract offer? You turn down the offer and then you put on social media. Oh, yeah, he don't want no smoke. And then now you're telling us you were depressed back then or something. He didn't necessarily say, oh, he was depressed. That's why he did it. But he was saying he was depressed after the AJ fight. So clearly... He was in no position to take it if he was depressed back then. The timeline fits. So, yeah, when he said Dylan didn't want smoke, he was probably, quote unquote, depressed around then. Eating himself into, what did he say? It was 300 pounds? I can't believe I'm actually, yeah. And it's forget Andy, man. You forget Andy. Turned down Dylan and returned against, what, a four year old Chris Ariola and got punched on. So, yeah, forget Andy. Well, you man still listening or. Uh, you still listening, yeah? Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. Let's carry on. Anyways, you was gonna. Yeah, you know, some of you might be lugging out quite quick, you know. So, yeah, I just had to check. Anyways, so I've been hearing Joseph Parker might get the Michael Hunter spot. So that that's that's gonna be quite interesting. Uh, Hergovich, please. I got Hergovich winning that fight easy. You already know I don't see yeah, Parker's yeah. There's no future in Parker in this thing. This elite level. I well, Hergovic isn't even proved if it's elite level, so I'm not necessarily saying he's there. I'm just saying Parker ain't it. I, I'll favor Hergovic to win that fight easy. Well, not not easy, but 
definitely, definitely backing Hergeris to win that fight. He's going to bully him. I actually think someone like Parker's tailor made for Hergovich because Hergovich loves to play the bully and Parker doesn't like bullies. We've seen that several times. So I think Parker should try to fight Chizora again, man. Just, well, yeah, he's, he's got to go for it though. It's not, you can't, you can't actually turn down this opportunity. Yeah. He has to fight Hergovich if the opportunity presented, but I definitely don't think he's got a chance of winning that fight. We'll see how that one goes. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways. Drop me a f- drop, drop the like, man. So you might have a bit tight with the likes, you know. Slap up the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Notification bell. Hit that. Follow me on Twitter. Question marks UK. And I'm out.